I didn't go down there and tell Joe like you asked. Why not? Because nobody's paying me to take chances like that. Anyway, you never know how that Joe's going to react. Why should you worry about what Joe thinks? Because he's mean, Sheriff. And he's nasty. He enjoys killing people. All them Danbys enjoy things like that. You're faster than Joe. Who says so? I do. I've seen you both draw. You're faster than he is. Supposing it's true, well, why should the matter ever come up? Jake? How would you like the job as my deputy? I'd hate it. Even if I lived through it, I'd hate it. I don't know who talked you into taking this job or how much they're paying you, but you got to believe me, it ain't enough. He's expecting you. Some of these other people told him he was coming. You're going to try and arrest me. You know, you don't look near as tough as some of them other sheriffs that we've had lately. Particularly that old boy had done run off about an hour and a half after he took the job. Joe, you just make me feel tired all over when you talk like that. Now, what do you mean by that? It's bad enough to have to kill a man without having to listen to a whole lot of stupid talk from him first. And remember, Joe, I've seen you draw. All right, Sheriff, hold it. Now drop your gun belt. I couldn't let him shoot you in the back. Oh, you could have. Is this the kind of town you people want for yourselves? This kind of life you want to lead? I mean, three killings in one saloon alone, the sun hasn't even gone down yet. Any more of this foolishness, and I'm going to close this place up tight. Yes, sir. I wouldn't blame you a bit, sir. Pick it up, Joe. Come on, pick it up. I'm going to get you for this, Jake. Well, you yeah. are the toughest talking blowhard I ever heard. Hey, you might as well come on. Uh, whether you like it or not, we're on the same side now. Oh, yeah. Take it easy, boys. Me and the sheriff takes the dim view of show-offs with guns. Remember what the sheriff said. No more shooting till the sun goes down. Is that what he said? That's close enough, brother. Drinks are on the house. Yeah! The people of the town of Elephant's Breath, Montana, did not support their local sheriff. And this is what happened. The residents of Sagging Bag, Arizona, did not support their local sheriff. And whammo! And now, the town of Calendar, Colorado, is facing the same fate. Because Calendar is a wide open town where men fight in the streets and women litter. And there's a terrible traffic problem, a gun control problem, and no morals at all. You want to grab something? Everything looks too slippery. What does that mean? That's not the question. The question is, will Calendar support their local sheriff? His name is Jason McCullough, and he alone holds the answers to Calendar's problems. The rock. Or the rope. Or, when everything else fails, the finger. He suck his finger in the end of your what? All Jason needs is the town's support and the love of a good woman. 
She's had some terrible shocks this year. She got wealthy almost overnight. I think maybe it unhinged her a little bit. Then she was always kind of big for her age, and poverty hit her hard. That'll do it, you know. Never has the West been wilder. Hold it! Hold it! Just sit down out there! Just hold it! Okay, go ahead! James Garner. Joan Hackett. Walter Brennan. Harry Morgan. Jack Wow! Support your local sheriff.